Hey guys, this is Leo from Generates Press and Generates Blocks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an author box like this using the dynamic block element in GPP 2.0 and Generates Blocks. Let's get started. If your site has multiple authors and you want to have social icons that link to the author's social profiles, then we will need to go through some initial steps to add some fields in the author's profile first. If you're already using an SEO plugin like Yoast or Rank Math, then those fields should already be there. That's what I did in my last video here, which I'll link below. If you're not using an SEO plugin, then we can go to this page and use this snippet here to add some fields in the author profile. And you can use a plugin like Code Snippets. So that's this one here to add the function. So if we also want to add in, let's say Facebook, we can do this. Save changes and activate. And now we should see those fields appear here. I've also added some text in the author description box. Now we're ready to create the author box. Add new block element. We will set the editor width to 900 pixel, which matches my container width. Element type will remain as hook and we will be using the after entry content hook. Let's add a container block. We will use the default paddings here and add some borders. Choose a background color. white as text color and then border color will go with a gray let's also turn on gradient set stop position to 50 percent and 50 percent and give it a direction Inside the container, we will start with a grid wrapper. Let's go with 50-50 to start. Select the first container and we will set it to 20%. And inside the container, we will use a GP dynamic image block, which outputs the author avatar. Image size, let's go with 80 pixels and we'll make it rounded. Let's move on to the second container and make it 80%. And inside the second container, we will also add a grid wrapper. Let's also go with 50-50. Select the first container and we will add a headline block. We will use just div here to strip all the styles. Go to typography and make it smaller like 14 pixels and change the color to gray. 
Now let's add another headline block. Use div again. And this time we will make it dynamic and I'll put the post author name. Change some typography settings. Now let's add the social buttons in the second container. We will add a buttons block. Let's go to spacing first and change it to a smaller button. Add in our icon so we will start with Facebook and remove text. Let's change the colors next. Now let's configure the button by open up the dynamic options. We want to use a link, so we will click dynamic link type, author meta, meta field name, we'll start with Facebook. Let's duplicate three more buttons. Then modify each of them. Second one, we will go with linked in. Then Instagram. Then YouTube. Now let's change the icons. To change the alignment of the buttons, we will select the buttons wrapper and you can set it to align right. Lastly, we will add another headline block. Go with div again. Open up the dynamic options. We will go with author meta. And this one will be the author description. Let's add a little bit of top padding to separate from the author name. Now let's set our display rule to post, all post, and take a first look. So if you want to move it above the post meta and post navigation, we can do so by go to the element tab and set the priority higher to 5. Now let's add some margin above the author box and reduce a little bit of space here. Select the container and add some top margin. Then select the grid and reduce the horizontal gap. Now I wanted to show you quickly that the links do work. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.